There's only one European fixture in London tonight. It doesn't involve Arsenal, Chelsea or Spurs. It's here at the QE2 Stadium, home to Ishmael League outfit Enfield Town FC, as they take on Danish side BK Skold in the brand new non-league European tournament, the Phoenix Trophy. Let's get inside. Now a couple of months ago I did actually make a video all about the Phoenix Trophy which includes an interview with its founder Leo Aliotti and an interview with Enfield Towns chairman and there will be a link to that video in the description of this one so make sure to go and check it out after this video is finished but if you don't know anything about it here's a quick summary. Now it was founded by Italian non-league side Brera Calcio in 2021 as a way for non-league teams to experience the joys of playing in Europe. It's gotten bigger and better each year and is now officially recognised by UEFA. This season 12 teams are competing and they've been split into four groups of three which is where we're at in this stage of the competition for the group stage. Now the match itself should be a really really good one as last season in the Phoenix Trophy the winners of the competition were BK Skold and so far this season Enfield Town are currently third in their league so it's two strong non-league sides coming up against each other and these two teams have actually met before in the past but only for friendlies this is the first time they've met in a competitive fixture so I'm hoping that's going to be a really good game. We've got some food as usual and today instead of the usual beef burger or normal hot dog because it's a Danish club playing Enfield Town have got some Danish food over in their uh, little restaurant area and so my dad has gone with these Danish meatballs I believe it's pork meatballs with some cheese sauce you've got potatoes and red cabbage how was that? Fantastic really nice hot ready to go. Hot. Well most of it's gone so it looks like he enjoyed it and I've gone with a Danish hot dog um, thought it was just a normal hot dog at first but you look a bit closer and it's got uh, some sort of sauce on there and some gherkins as well though you'll probably be eating them as I don't like gherkins but overall it came to 14.50 with a coffee as well um, and some really interesting food to try instead of the usual. Both sides made their way out onto the pitch ready to kick off their first European game of the season. Enfield Town and BK Gold both began nicely, having some good chances early on in the game. Thirty-five minutes in, after a free kick was sent into the box, the ball fell to Youngs who hit home from 12 yards out. The town has had a glorious chance to make it too soon after, but Willie's shot off the rebound somehow ended up over the bar. That was all for the first 45, 1-0 to Enfield Town. Well, it's half time here at the QE2 Stadium, Enfield Town 1-0 up after a lovely hit by uh, their number eight, I believe it was. Um, it was a dodgy set piece or a corner and it fell to one of their players. Uh, there was a bit of a scuffle and then it landed at another player's feet who managed to hit it home uh, at the near post. Um, so far, so good from the game though. It's been quite high intensity. Uh, the Danish are playing some nice football to be fair to them and they're a really defensive side as well in terms of you know, putting a lot of good slide tackles and things like that. Um, really cold night as I'm sure you can see from the smoke from my breath. There's ice everywhere too on the grass so I'm sure some of those slide tackles are hurting their legs but so far 1-0 to Enfield. Moving into the second half, a close shot was somehow kept out by Skold's number one, Thomas Thigerson. Enfield kept on knocking on the door, this time Willie's header just wide of the post. The strong BK defence paid off though. With 10 minutes of time to go, substitute Ali Sonico slicing the ball into the back of the net to level the game. Oh, 
Tensions were rising, a nasty challenge seeing a BK Schold player pick up the first yellow card of the game. And another foul was committed soon after, this time inside of the BK box, Enfield Town awarded a penalty late on. Young's calmly hit the ball home for his and Enfield Town's second goal of the game. The goalkeeper clearly hadn't recovered from the penalty. In the 94th minute, Willie tackling him and scoring to put the game to bed. And that was full time. Enfield Town winning 3-1 in the Phoenix Trophy to send them top of the group. Last full time here at the QE2 Stadium here tonight, Enfield Town beating BK Schold 3-1 in the end in their first ever European Phoenix Trophy game. And I thought it was an absolutely fantastic night. Um, obviously, let's start with the game. It was 3-1 victory for Enfield Town. Um, I didn't think that it was going to be that much of a dominating game for Enfield. As I said before the match, both teams are meant to be very good at least. You know, BK Schold won the whole competition last season. However, Enfield really did dominate for most of the game. Um, that first goal, uh, as I said, was a nice little fell to his feet, just sort of tapped it in, nothing too special. The second goal was a penalty, which was a deserved penalty as well. It was a really bad bit of goalkeeping there, he sort of tripped him up and pulled his leg. Uh, and then of course the third goal was the goalkeeper, again his fault, the ball was at his feet, he was sort of messing around with it and the player managed to tackle him and just tapped it simply into the back of the net. So three not too great goals for Enfield but they're three goals that of course count. Um, that goal for BK Schold, that came in the second half too, that was to make it 2-1, I didn't see what happened as it was down the other end of the, end of the pitch but of course that obviously didn't give them, uh, them too much momentum as afterwards, like I said, Enfield went on to win the game. But a really, really great night, I thought you know, the Phoenix Trophy, Leo, uh, Leo the founder was telling me it's all about the community, it's all about the community spirit and the fans and the players all coming together after the game as well and I really could see that tonight, I saw a few people who had come over from Denmark, of course, we had the Danish food in the um, in the club little restaurant bit too, which I thought was a really nice touch to see. And you know, I just you know personally to Leonardo, who founded the competition. Thank you so much for this because it's an incredible opportunity for clubs like Enfield. You saw the numbers that turned out today; it's got to be close to a thousand, something like that, all packed in behind the goal, making so much noise, a racket from minute one to minute 90. And so clubs like these deserve to be recognized in European competitions. And so it's great to see that this has finally been done. And of course, I wish Enfield Town and all the other teams competing the best of luck this season. And who knows, maybe we'll get to another game or two. If you did enjoy watching, please make sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Again, make sure to check out my original video. The link will be in the description down below. And I will see you in the next one. Let's get home because it's freezing cold. Good night. Thank you.